Welcome to Oncology Podcast News. I'm your host, Valerie Lynn. On this edition of Oncology Podcasting News, an osteoporosis drug is approved for prevention of breast cancer, and resistance training and yoga enhances breast cancer patients' quality of life and physical condition. On September 13, 2007, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved a new indication for raloxifene tablets commercially called Avista. The new indication is to reduce the risk of invasive breast cancer in postmenopausal women with osteoporosis and those at higher risk for invasive breast cancer. The approval was based on four clinical trials that showed Avista reduced the incidence of invasive breast cancer in postmenopausal women by 44% to 71% relative to placebo. The reduction in the incidence of breast cancer was primarily due to a reduction in estrogen-positive invasive breast cancers. Avista is associated with an increased risk of blood clots and stroke, but is less risky than tamoxifen. Other side effects of Avista are hot flashes, leg cramps, flu-like syndrome, joint pain, and sweating. Canadian and U.S. researchers reported that resistance training and yoga have proven beneficial to women with early-stage breast cancer. In a study, scientists divided women receiving chemotherapy into three groups, supervised resistance exercise three times a week, supervised aerobic exercise three times a week, and no aerobic or resistance exercise. The average length of chemotherapy and exercise was 17 weeks. The study showed that the aerobic exercise group was superior than regular care for improving self-esteem, aerobic fitness, and body fat percentage. The resistance exercise group demonstrated better than usual care for improving muscle strength, lean body mass, and self-esteem. A second study from Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York found that women with early stage breast cancer who practiced yoga had a better quality of life compared to breast cancer patients who were not involved in the activity. That's all for this edition of Oncology Podcast News. I'm Valerie Lynn. Thank you for watching.